Hi everyone, it's Arlene here. Today I have a fun little project and it is actually a little, um, like it's like a gift holder or um, it's like I have a little some little chocolates in here. I got this at the store when I was looking for some projects to make for my latest card buffet that I just had recently and I found these and I thought this would be perfect for what I had in mind and it was this little um, chocolate or a little holder. I wanted to cover it up to make it a cute gift. So let's go. I'm going to set this aside. Let's go ahead and sh let me show you the two stamp sets that I used. Um, I'm using the Artfully Aware and I'll be using just one stamp from each set and that is this one right here. And then on the other stamp set I have, it's this um, set. It's called Strong and Beautiful. Let me make sure. Let's see. I'm really getting a lot of glare here, huh? Okay. And I'm using the saying that you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud and I really love that saying. I like this because it is, it's strong and beautiful. There's some good sayings in here. Okay, so as I set this aside, let me show you the paper that I used. This is some designer series paper from the Share What You Love paper. It's double-sided, but I'm going to be using this side here. I cut it since it's a 12 by 12 paper. I went ahead and cut it at three inches and then I also scored it and I don't know if you'll be able to see it here or not but I scored it at five and one eighth and then also at six and seven eighths and if you don't catch all the all of the dimensions don't worry my phone is just sliding on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if you don't, I will have the link to my blog down below in the notes, and you'll be able to go on there and um, get all the dimensions and the directions. I used a piece of very vanilla cardstock to cut out a circle from the stitched shapes thinlets, and I will be stamping on that. So let me get the colors here. I'm using Old Olive as well as Berry Burst. And with the Old Olive, I'm taking um, this stamp here and just getting it inked up. And what I want to do is I want it to be a little bit lighter than if I were to just go full strength on that. So I'm stamping off one time and then stamping on like that. Okay, and then with the same I'm going to use the Berry Burst and this time I'm not going to um, stamp first onto some paper before stamping directly onto my um, Very Vanilla, the circle. So that way it shows up. So the background on the green is just a little bit lighter than the same. So we've got that there. Now. I took a piece of the old olive and I used from my, I ran it through my big shot with one of the dies from the, um, the, the, what's it called? Eastern medallion thinlets. This is the die that I used and it is actually a really fun, this whole set is just really fun to use. It's, if you see it in the catalog, you wouldn't really think there would be a lot to do with it, but there's actually, it's really versatile. So what I did here is I ran it through and you'll notice that it's still, there are parts right here that are still attached to the cardstock. And for this particular project, you just want to take your scissors and just snip it off because I want this to be a separate piece. There we go. Okay, like that. Okay, and then let's go ahead and move my adhesive. I'm just going to go ahead and attach that like that. So you see, it's just a little bit of that um, the old olive that is sticking out from there, just to give it a really nice kind of a little different edge to it. Okay, and then I've got this is the designer series paper that I have already ran or um, scored it with my paper trimmer. I'm just going to fold on the score lines and then taking a little glue dot. I might, since these are minis, I think I'll use a couple of them. I'm going to place those down right there in the middle and then take my chocolates. 
kind of center them there. So you're, it's going to help to stay if you place the glue dots there, but it will still, it's, um, you'll still be able to lift it up quite easily. And then I'm just going to fold it like this. And then I have a paper or a hole punch here. And just a couple times right here. Okay, then I've got a piece of the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. This is pretty too, and if you could feel it right now, you'd be loving it. <laughs> it's really pretty and soft. And I cut a little piece right here. You can see I cut it at an angle because that's going to help thread that ribbon through those smaller holes. I didn't want to use a regular hole size punch because I thought that would be too big. So I used a smaller one. So it's just going to take a little bit extra time, but it's still fairly easy to do. Now, the velvet is only on one side. So when you're running it through here and you're bringing it, um, you're tying it, because I'll be tying it in a, either a bow or not. We'll see how I'm doing. <laughs> but you want to make sure that that ribbon is on the top. That's the part that um, people are going to see. So have it facing outward or on the outside instead of the inside. So sometimes you have to twist it around a little bit to get which, you know, what you want. Okay, like this. So see, I wanna make sure that back here in the back, the velvet part is showing. There we go. And I think I will just tie it in a knot this way. We'll try it. Let's try it, try tying it in a bow. So I'm not the best at bow making or bow tying in the first place. See, when you're looping it through, make sure that you've got it twisted so that way the velvet part is on the outside when you bring that loop through. Like so. Just going to trim the ends. Okay, and with the dimensionals, I'm just going to take about, I don't know, three or four of these, place it on the back, and we will place it right here on the front there, like that. And then there are some of these share what you love these are the pearls and i'm just going to be putting let's see grab my tweezers here and putting a few right there i think i'll do the pink one just kind of in a little cluster right there Okay, and there you go. So it really, you can see it really didn't take that long. Um, if you're a much better bow maker than I am, which I'm sure you are, <laughs> it won't take as long either. So um, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. And it's perfect because Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So these are something that are that is, um, fairly quick and easy to do too. Thanks you guys so much for watching and have a great day.